Hey, what's up guys? Tiger Flash here. And yeah, it's been a long time since I've done a video on unsupported Max, but here it is. So Ben Sova finally released a version of his patcher that can automatically uh, update. So that means that when future updates are gonna occur, you won't need to install it with the USB key like you, you were used to for previous version of Ben's patcher. So at the time of making this video, the latest macOS uh, Big Sur version is actually macOS 11.2.2. So my Mac is uh, still on 11.2. I have not updated to 11.2.1 since, you know, it's, it was a pretty small update. But I'm still on the old version of Ben's patcher, but now there's a new one. You can update automatically. Don't need the USB key for future updates. So it's re it was really appealing to me and now I'm going to do it. So for this time, you're gonna need again, your USB key, 3.0 is better. Uh, you can use 2.0s, but 3.0s tends to have less issues and works uh, better and are faster. And um, yeah, for this time, you're gonna need a USB key, but once you, you will, uh, at the end of the video, the next update will automatically update like if it was a normal Mac supported. So this is a really good thing, it's new and it's really nice. So I've tested it on three to four Macs, works well. I wanted to test it before making a video on it and I can confirm it works well. So I'm going to install it on this particular Mac. So which is the Mac that I made all the video uh, on. So once again, just to be safe, uh, you want to save uh, backup your data on an external drive to make sure that if anything happened with the Mac and you have to, you know, restart it completely, format it, anything, you have to er erase it. I don't know, maybe something can happen. It won't probably happen but it's a possibility like any uh, big updates even when it's officially supported it can happen so every time you uh, update your mac make a backup if you have important data so again you're gonna need usb key like i said i use 32 gigabytes 16 is the minimum so uh, yeah and uh, like the other patcher you have to came come from um, at least mac os catalina so if you come from Big Sur, it's good. If you come from Catalina, it's good. If not, for example, if you have a 2011 on uh, like, for example, iSierra, uh, you can patch uh, to, uh, to Catalina using does dude Catalina patcher. And then you're gonna have Catalina on your Mac. And then you're going to be able to update to uh, Big Sur with the new band patcher that will update automatically. If not, of course, my first video on the subject it work with basically all Macs, all version. You can come from like El Capitan, it's going to work. But uh, yeah, you can't update automatically like in this new version. So you need at least Catalina uh, to install it and you need at least uh, four gigabytes of RAM on your computer, that is a must. Okay, so once again, I cannot thanks uh, Ben enough to make this patcher available to everybody. It's truly amazing and it helps uh, like extending the lifespan of old MacBooks. So when you, what you want to do again is you want to navigate to Ben Sova Patch Sir, but I'm gonna I'm going to leave the link in the description below. But if you search on the web, this is the first one here, and here you want to actually go to releases like every time, and you download the latest. So this is 14 days ago for you. It's gonna be different, and you want to download Patch Sir that DMG. So you want to click on it. And I'm going to put it on the desktop and there you go. So once this is done, you can close Chrome and here it is. You want to open in, open it by uh, double clicking and then it's opening. So you wait for it. Okay. So once it's open, you can now you can actually just double click. So no need to like uh, right click and open. You can really double click and it will open. So that is a fix. And now you want to open here and welcome to patch sir. So patcher is simple, easy to use patcher for macOS Big Sur on your unsupported Macs. It sets up the ideal environment for Big Sur and makes sure all your device like iCloud will still work. So start, now it's verifying the Mac, it's actually finding the Mac automatically, so you can continue. And how it works. So here it's written how it works, and basically describing the patcher. So you don't need to read all of this. You can read it if you want. I won't for the video. I want to keep it short. So here you can go to public beta or releases or developer. So me, I like to stick with releases. They're more stable, less issues. So let's go to official releases. So you can update or clean install. 
since I'm coming from macOS Big Sur, I want to update since I'm already on Big Sur. But if you're from Catalina, you want to clean install. And the only difference with clean install is that when you will boot your Mac, uh, when I'm going to show you later, you're going to have to choose EFI boot before booting into uh, the installer. But now we are on Big Sur, so we want to update. If you're, if you're on Catalina, you want to clean install. So we want to update and continue. So now it's downloading the like the catch patches, you know, for Wi-Fi and everything. So now it's choosing the version. So I can view other version. And as you as you can see, you don't you can't uh, download for now 11.2.2. Maybe it's going to come, but you can actually download the latest version. So now the latest version of the patcher is 11.2.1, but it's going to be probably a newer version if you're watching this in the future. So you want to download macOS 11.2.1 like this and now it's downloading it. So we actually want to wait for the patcher to download it and come back later. It's not going to take that long but you know, it can vary on your uh, internet connection and the speed of your Mac. Okay so once it's downloaded you want to enter your password. Again no special character please because special character can uh, sometimes uh, create issues with the password. So just a simple password and it should work flawlessly. Then you continue and then it's installing packages. So we want to wait again. Okay, so it was really, really short here. And here it's the part that use your USB. So you want to actually use your USB 3.0, maybe 2.0, but 3.0s are better. Insert it, 16 gigabyte at least. And as you can see here, it can, it's showing out here. And you, you everything is going to be erased on the USB key. So you want to make sure that there's nothing important in this USB key. So he will refresh, refresh just to show it up here. And the key is called install macOS Big Sure. So we're going to select install macOS Big Sure. Maybe you going to be no name. I don't care, but select the USB key and continue. So then everything will be erased on the USB key. Yes, continue. And it's creating an install media. So this can take around 30 to an hour, maybe even more, depending on the computer and the USB key. So let it do its job and uh, I'm going to come back later. Okay, so it just finished. It took around an hour and a half, approximately. So pretty long this time. And uh, yeah, when it's finished, you can actually close everything on the computer. So like this, close everything. And then you want to actually uh, like shut down the computer and restart while uh, booting, booting with the option key. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so once the computer is shut down, you can actually open it like this and press the option key. So right there. So it's Alt in the, on this keyboard. So it's called the option key and then you want to wait. And yeah, here you can see you have Windows, WD, SSD, Mac OS. You is going to be most likely Macintosh HD install macOS Big Sure and EFI boot. So here, if you have selected clean install, so if you came from, for example, Catalina, you want to choose EFI boot. But if you come from Big Sure, you want to directly install macOS Big Sure. So if you choose EFI boot, the computer is going to shut down and you will do this again. And then you will choose install macOS Big Sure. So it's just one more step. But now we will directly install macOS Big Sure. So we move with the arrow and we press with enter like this. Okay, so after around uh, two minutes, you hand it up here and you can move with the mouse and you want to choose uh, install macOS Big Sure. So you want to click on it and press continue. And then here you want to continue again. Here you pretend that you've read and you accept. Here you accept again. And here you want to choose your boot drive. So here you have macOS SSD, Bootcamp, which is Windows, and the USB key. So you want to choose macOS SSD, or I mean the the the, uh, the hard drive that the uh, partition of macOS is on, and you want to choose it and continue. And then you want to continue again, because it was not plugged in, but I will plug it in. And then you want to wait, it's going to, took, uh, to take around an hour, probably. Okay, so once this is done, it took around an hour. You want to enter in your computer normally, so just log in. It's gonna restart the computer automatically, uh, like it just did. And then it's gonna go into your session and uh, you're gonna have to uh, do something to activate Wi-Fi. Okay, so once uh, the computer is properly booted up and has uh, optimized for Big Sure, 
and you have to leave the USB key in. As you can see, there's no Wi-Fi, like always. So, no issue, we're gonna fix that. So to fix the Wi-Fi, you have to go here into your finder, and then you have to go into your application, and you wanna find patch serve, here, patch serve. And you wanna open it. So we can open it like this by double, cl double clicking and open it. And then you want to choose patch kext. So here, and you wanna continue. And here your USB is checking if your USB is here. So plug of restaurant right try again. Here you wanna force skip check because there's an issue with the patcher, but the USB is in. So you wanna force skip check. And here you wanna enter your password again. The same one, no special character. It's the administrator password and you want to continue. So now it's patching the file. So it's not that long. And uh, once it's gonna be done, uh, you're gonna to have to restart the computer. Okay, so once patch case has finished uh, installing, you have to restart the computer to finish. So then the computer will restart. And when it's gonna boot up back up, you're gonna have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop, iCloud, everything. Okay, so once the computer has rebooted, you can eject the USB key like this, and then it's gonna be ejecting. And also if you check here, you actually have Wi-Fi just like before the update. So this is a good thing. And you have Bluetooth, you have AirDrop, everything works. And also just to prove to you that it's working, if you go here to Google Chrome and you search, for example, for YouTube, as you can see, it's working completely fine and you can watch video on YouTube, no problem. And again, just to prove to you that uh, the update is working, you can see it's within macOS Big Sur 11.2.1 on a 13-inch MacBook Pro mid-2012, so unsupported device. So now you're probably wondering, uh, yeah, it's cool, but how do I update automatically? So you can go here to Finder, and you want to go to your application, and then again, you want to find Patch Sur. So when you're in Patch Sur, sorry, it wasn't close, you click on Patch Sur like this, and you're getting here. So here you can update macOS, to do an update automatically without the USB key. And here you have your patch kex file if it was not working properly. And if the patch kex file was not working, like I said uh, in the other video, you can actually check out my first video on the subject and I show you how to install patch kex, patch kex directly using terminal in my first video uh, on uh, updating on unsupported Mac. So yeah, this, is can, this can be very uh, helpful. And here you have your settings. So I'm going to show you this real quick because if you click on settings, you can disable animation. And this can greatly improve performance on Macs without metal. So if you're using a 2011, a 2010, a 2009 even, you will want to disable animation here. And it's going to make things so much faster. And here you can contribute and uh, you can enable or disable graphic switching. So that means that you have like a... Uh, dedicated GPU and if you want to disable or enable the graphics switching and here um, like if it leaves leftovers that uh, run be uh, behind and you think it's going to be slowing down your computer you can clean them but the, the most important thing is really to disable animation on 2011 or earlier Macs. 2012 and 2013 leave them on. Leave them on because they have metal. But 2011, 2010, 2009 you have to disable animation to make it faster. So if we, if we close back sure again, sorry, and we go back, so here you for example, a new update is out and you want to update. You click here update Mac OS. And here what's new, you can read what's new about the patcher. And you can update here. So you can choose what you want to update. You can choose a release, a public beta, a developer. So here I'm going to stick to release. Here it says no update available. But if I choose, for example, public beta, oh, there's a beta available. But me, I want to stick to update so as uh, for real releases so here there's no releases but when a release uh, will go uh, out soon like when Apple will launch a new version you will just have to go here and releases and there will be a release just like this in the public beta and you will be able to learn how to update and update it without the USB key and without doing all of this so this is very useful and it's new from this new patcher patcher so yeah it's very very useful and um, I really recommend it to everyone it's so simple like I said 
and uh, it's doing everything for you. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and uh, I'm going to go back to study and uh, yeah, I'm going to make definitely way more video uh, this summer. So uh, be sure to stay uh, tuned for that and to subscribe. Uh, with that said, uh, subscribe to my video, like and uh, have a good day and uh, ciao ciao.